Hey guys, so tonight uh, it's mostly clear, a little bit hazy. I'm gonna try uh, looking at Jupiter and Saturn through the six inch Evo star. I wanna try to show it to you guys. Now, today was a holiday, uh, civic holiday, I believe, uh, Monday, so which means us Canadians didn't work. So last night I was trying to observe and then it clouded over and uh, I don't think it got cloudy till way after 2.30 a.m. But I, I was getting a headache because I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. I only get about an average of six hours of sleep, which isn't enough. So, of course, today when I'm just about to go to bed at 1130, it clears up. And, um, uh, you know, I, I took it out. So I don't know if I have too much time to uh, observe tonight, but it is clear. Um, anyway, I just want to see what I can see with this guy. Now, really, I only gave it like... 15 minutes of cool down so really for a six inch ed uh, or refract or anything like that it, it's actually not enough but i'll see if i can still show you guys a little bit and then uh like through the eyepiece okay guys what do you think of that so i have it on the eq6 the manual eq6 this time with drives that way um staying very still and there's Saturn that's why it's not moving around now, I think I'm only at 66 power 1200 divided by 18 millimeter eight piece 67 power so it's really not even a lot but that's what Saturn looks like and yeah let me see if I can blow it up a bit more okay guys what do you think of that I just put it on 4K and I believe I'm at um, 18 millimeter, by two is nine, so 1200 divided by nine equals 133 power. Anyway, uh, that's what I get right now. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, that's not so much power. It's only on a cell phone. As you know, up to now, it's probably only 30, 40 minutes of cool down time is still probably not perfect, but I think that's a pretty good shot considering it's just on an iPhone. And as you see, it's not really slipping as it was before on Polaris. So I'm just kind of ballparking Polaris. And I think it's, that's why it's slowly going to the bottom because I'm not 100% polar. But I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? For a six inch scope that probably only had half the cool down time, it's on a cell phone and not uh, a dedicated or professional camera or DSLR. Let me see if I can get that back up. And I'm gonna stop touching it. So that way, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, here's another shot. And uh, you guys tell me what you guys think, if that's pretty good or not. And uh, maybe I'll go over to Jupiter in, in a few seconds. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time today. It's a work night and I just can't uh, do that. But hopefully you guys like this video. Okay, guys, here's Jupiter. So what do you guys think? Maybe let me blow it up. A little more. Fix the light. Let me see if I can just move it a tad to the right. Whoa, 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 easy. Okay, easy, easy, holy cow. Take it easy. Okay, I'm about the same power, 100 and, what did I say, 33? Yeah, about 133 power. Um, even on an EQ6, it's not rock solid, as you can see. Let me just take it down. So 
So you, you can see it with the moon. So I guess we can't. It's not bright enough to see with the moon. So anyway. Over there, you can see the moons when I put the higher exposure. You can see the moons there, but uh, the planet detail gets washed away. Okay, so that's obviously... There we go. Okay, guys, so there's uh, Jupiter and then there's Saturn through a 6-inch Evo Star ED on an EQ6. Just with a cell phone camera, it did not have enough cooldown time, or probably would be much better. Also, if I had a dedicated or DSL professional cameras, this would be a whole lot better. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, next video I'll be doing is I'm going to be using the Astrophysics um, six inch, and then after I do that, then I'm going to actually compare this Evo Star with the six inch. Uh, astrophysics and see what comes on top right now i'm just going to do a few minutes of just a quick observing just so i can get an eyeball uh memory of how it looks like that way if tomorrow's clear i can kind of compare it okay see you guys next time joe jaguar out like comment and subscribe hey guys so i just wanted to show you guys or uh, explain what i see in the eyepiece and it's just so much better than in the iPhone uh, cell phone camera so much better in crystal detail um, and when the air steadies up or the atmosphere I guess it's just you can see several bands at least on Jupiter I can see the great red spots very easy uh, I guess if you have a, a scope like a reflector or that type of thing you're, because the contrast is lower, you probably won't see it. But yeah, this is like 10 times better than what I just showed you in the cell phone. Oh yeah, yeah, I clearly see the red spot. Okay, let's move over to um, Saturn. Just the camera, I should turn it a little bit more. Okay, let's find 240 power. So I know that's more than what I showed you in the, um, the cell phone camera, but you know, trying to get the minute um, camera lens into the eyepiece lens, it just doesn't work. You can't really go any higher. Um, So whereas the eyepiece is just much, much easier to put in much higher power. So yes, I was at 133 in the cell phone camera, but I actually blew it up. Uh, so it's probably, I would say, well, three times. So it's probably almost the same, but okay, let me enjoy the view. Yeah, the image, um, as far as what you saw in the cell phone, it's 10 times better in the eyepiece. Now, if you have an expensive camera, then it's probably fine. But this image of Saturn, wow, and Jupiter. I suppose if I just wait another half an hour, 40 minutes to let it cool down, 100% it would be amazing, but this is already amazing. Yeah, if you guys are really into planetary viewing, I think you got to do the refractor. There's just no other um, way around it. Uh, I just talked to somebody today, and they have a six-inch uh, reflecting telescope, and they were telling me, how can I get that image huge? And I basically told them, well, the reflector is going to be a little bit, you know, if your collimation is not 100%, um, you know, it's going to lack contrast in image quality. And with a 6-inch F5, you know, that's not really a planetary uh, scope anyway, right? So, um, again, if you have your collimation, it's, it, it's a pretty fast scope. Even though it has a, a parabolic mirror, uh, 
um, you know, you're going to get some good views, but I think what he wants, and he had a four millimeter radian, which is a good eyepiece, it's just, it's never going to be as good as, you know, something like this or even the, uh, the high quality refractors. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pack this up. I'll see you guys next time.